Hey, good morning, everyone. Tim Shoup here with Digital Boardwalk TV. Welcome to another episode. And with me today, I have James. James has been with me in Digital Boardwalk for about 13 or 14 years now. That's correct. Uh, we've been working together, playing together, just having fun. It's, it's been a wild ride. Uh, today, we are excited to talk about uh, a Ubiquity product that we have used now for about six years, uh, the uh, UAPAC Pro. So it's an access point that we hang pretty much in all of our implementations. Uh, primarily, uh, and we have a, a special surprise for you uh, about halfway through the video, something that we're going to reveal and, and show you that not a lot of people have their hands on yet. Uh, so I'm excited to show that. But anyway, about the UA, UAPAC Pro and Ubiquity products, we've been installing for about six years now, wouldn't you say, James? Round about. Yeah, prior to that, we were uh, pretty much a Cisco shop. Now, why, why did we switch? We had been eyeballing Ubiquity products for years and just keeping an eye on them. And, you know, as a company, we've always been evolving. But the, UA, the, the Ubiquity products... Uh, in relation to Cisco, I think we came in around the the price point is just sweet. Uh, I think it's about a what a seventh the price or a sixth the price of their Aeronet Enterprise series. Absolutely. Yeah, and and on their Enterprise series, what about half the price? On the small business, about half. Small the price. business, right? So it was interesting because when we first started out with Ubiquity. We had a, a sizable law firm uh, that we entered into. They had all Cisco products. They had, a, uh, they had drops. They had, you know, basically a lot of problems with, with dropped Wi-Fi, connection problems. Uh, what, other, what, what else was going on over there, James? The access points they had were older, and they weren't receiving the security updates from Cisco anymore. And for the law firm, they definitely had some compliances they had to meet, and these unsupported access points did not meet the standard. Yeah, so we we came in. It was uh, we came in and, and basically ripped it all out, put a complete ubiquity system in with the cloud key, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, the simplicity of it, and they haven't had any problems since. And that was what six, seven. That was probably six, closer to four years ago. Four years ago. Um, so very, very happy to talk about that. So today we are going to show you the UA, UAPAC Pro Access Point. We're going to talk about, talk about it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and break it out of the box. And then I'm going to reveal something really cool, like I said. Uh, is there any, uh, so let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and pop this puppy. Sounds good. Packed really nice, um, as you would expect. Ah, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and lay some of this out. Okay, box aside. So, let's move this stuff out of the way. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the UAP AC Pro. If you want to get technical about it, Dash US because it's US made product, right? Uh, because the radio uses US frequencies. US frequencies. So um, first thing I noticed when I unbox it, it is a plastic design. Um, when powered on, right here, you'll see a blue ring. Um, and it's it's got a very slim design. It's very similar to the Cisco products. Um, more slim than the Cisco. More slim. Um, you have a... You have a uh, rubber, so it's rubber grommeted. So this this device is rated for indoor outdoor use. Now outdoor, you obviously would want to keep it under a covered uh, eave, a patio, something like that. But as far as moisture getting in, uh, it's pretty protected. It is sealed, correct? Yeah. Um, antenna wise, we have three antennas. It is a three by three MIMO setup for both bands, the two point four and the five. Okay. So dual band. Yep, it's not selectable. It can broadcast both at the same time. How many users would you say, like in a in a typical environment, a uh, typical deployment, how many users comfortably would you say we would want to cap per unit? 
Ubiquity uses some pretty sporty numbers in their write-ups, but for us, 50 is our upper limit on that. Beyond the 50, we definitely step up to the HD. Uh, but if we've got you know 20 main devices and then 20 users with cell phones, things like that, uh, we've been seeing no performance issues with you know 40 to 50 on these guys. And what's the throw on this thing? About 400 feet or? Obviously, it depends on the environment that it is that it's in, but it does have five dBi antennas. So if you're in an open environment, it'll really throw the signal far. Very cool. So in the box, we've got a mounting bracket. We have the device, um, mounting bracket, power cord, and we've got a PoE injector here. That is an 802.af uh, power over Ethernet injector. Um, the new model is a little bit smaller than their previous ones. It's very, uh, runs cool, and it's nice to have if you don't have PoE switches, but of course for large deployments, we always go with PoE switches. Yeah, very nice. Uh, packaged really nice. Again, this is the UAPAC Pro. Um, indoor, outdoor rated, PoE injector, power, bracket, uh, Price point on these babies, I would say what we're selling, or they're coming in right around 150 bucks, right? That's correct. So the price point is amazing. Uh, and, and one thing to note, the cloud key. Um, James, why don't you talk about how the cloud key, uh, there, there's obviously two ways to do it, but how the cloud key simplifies, um, you know, not necessarily just the deployment, but configuration changes and things like that, and the two ways to set it up. Sure. So as with anything with the Ubiquiti Unify lineup, it does require the Unify controller to adopt and configure the devices. Um, we have been big fans of Ubiquiti's cloud key hardware simply because it's very reliable and it's easy for us to remote into for managing our customer networks. Uh, this is a program that could be installed on a local PC, but if that computer restarts and we have to start the program for it to function, and that's another reason we've been very fond of the cloud keys. Now with this, one of the things that we really like is instead of logging into each device manually to configure the SSID or the wireless signal or the PSK, we go into one place and it deploys to all the APs nearly instantaneously. Um, so it simplifies our management time as far as updating settings and maintaining everything. Um, it also reports on performance. So if we've got too many users or if we're having high latency, too many retries, um, using that portal gives us the ability to catch these things early so we can make proactive changes before our customer reports issues. So if we have to make a change across all the access points in a, in a deployed environment, let's say there's 20 APs deployed and we make one change in the cloud key, how long does it take? No more than 30 seconds. So it's pretty much, you yeah. could say, instantaneous. Correct. Yep. Now we have a special surprise for you. The U6 the replacement for the UAP AC Pro. So this is the sixth uh, rendition of this product, right? It's actually the third, but it's using the Wi-Fi generation six protocols. Okay, all right. Package real nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the, 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 the five out here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look and we'll look at the similarities and the differences between the two. And these aren't available yet. Um, I think hopefully soon, right? Because I want to get my hands on these and get them out there. Ubiquity has officially released them, but they, it's not in the hands of distribution yet. And that's what we're really waiting on. Nice little cover there. Um, oh, wow. So I, I noticed an immediate difference in this device. I'm, I'm holding both of them here. Um, considerably heavier. I would say maybe twice the weight, almost twice the weight. Uh, definitely a different build quality. Um, first thing I noticed, we've got a metal design instead of a plastic design. Let me move this out of the way. Um, you can see putting them side by side, uh, they look identical. Look identical. Uh, the difference is the weight. So that comes from the metal design and instead of three, a three by three MIMO, right? Correct, uh, the U6 Pro does have four by four MIMO on the five gigahertz band. The 2.4 gigahertz band is still two by two MIMO. It's amazing, again, in the box, we've got a uh, template, mounting brackets, 
Oh, this is interesting. So let me put this aside. So the first thing I notice here, now I, I was informed that the U6 is not outdoor rated, right? Correct. So the rubber grommet isn't built into the device? So it can be added just as it can with the UAP AC Pro. Um, it is beneficial for areas with high moisture, maybe like in a warehouse or a garage or something like that. But this is not to be exposed to the elements like the ACAP Pro was able to. Right. So um, interesting. So the difference, so the primary difference, so you're giving up the, the, the native uh, indoor outdoor usage for an extra antenna and from what I can tell better build build quality it definitely is we're really happy with the weight and the feel of these new ones um, they get warm but they also dissipate the heat very well the 4x4 MIMO is definitely a worthwhile trade-off for us most of our deployments are going to be in office settings and having the ability with the faster performance um, and the greater capacity for connected users will translate to less APs. Um, so that's something we're definitely looking forward to. And, you know, most of our customers are doing email and web tasks, and so they don't necessarily need the performance of the AX protocol. But as more and more devices support it, we'll be able to have more users on a single AP uh, occupying less time, so we'll have less congestion and less issues. Amazing. And look what else I found in the box. <clears throat> The so, network. so I the first thing I notice is the way all this is packaged. I mean, Ubiquity's really done a fine job here, uh, but look at this. This is your mounting hardware in a, a very it's like a foam a molded fo foam insert here. Uh, you've got your anchors, um, your your screws. Uh, what else we got here? The uh, drop ceiling. Drop ceiling mounts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And an Allen wrench. <laughs> and this is a really good thick foam too. Yeah, Ubiquity has definitely gone for a very Apple style product packaging. Um, everything inside is highly recyclable. Um, feels very nice, very premium. It's a welcome sight. Great. So everything you get in the box is right here. Um, hopefully I got all that in frame there, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is the U6 by Ubiquity, and look forward to getting these out there, James. Yeah, um, just one last note. It still has just a single gigabit Ethernet port, so there's no bonding that we can do. Uh, that will be something that will cap us, because uh, the theoretical throughput on this is um, over 2 gigabit per second. We are still waiting for the U6 Enterprise to come out, which features 6E and um, two and a half gigabit ethernet. So the U6 Pro will be fine for most office settings, but it is not gonna be the, um, the latest and greatest from Ubiquity. Yeah, so again, thank you for joining us at Digital Boardwalk TV. Uh, I'm Tim Shoup with Digital Boardwalk, and we had James with us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and uh, feel free to comment, and we'd love to get back with you and discuss more about this product.